Yeah, I'll have whatever he's having. One drink. Let me go. So what's your job, then? To babysit me? What are you? Mr. Widmore's chief lackey? Henchman? No title. Plenty of pucks, though. Hmm. Such as? I get to meet some people. Well, cheers, then. Tell me, Perky, are you happy? Quite. No, you're not. Well, I've got a great job, lots of money, get to travel the world. Why wouldn't I be happy? Have you ever been in love? <laughs> Thousands of times. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about spectacular, consciousness-altering love. <sighs> Do you know what that looks like? I wasn't aware that love looked like anything. I've seen it, mate. On the plane back from Sydney. Is that so? Well, we were on the same flight, so maybe I saw it too. Trust me, you didn't. No? Enlighten me. Who's this woman? Two rows in front of me, in handcuffs, same as a cop. He looked at me, knew I was holding. If I didn't take action, I'd be caught. So I got up. Went to the lab, proceeded to eliminate the evidence by swallowing my stash. And at that exact moment, we had turbulence. I choked. The entire bag of heroin was stuck in my throat. It's, uh, it's over. Everything starts to go dark. I'm slipping into the abyss, and then I see her. Oh. A woman, blonde, rapturously beautiful, and I know her. We're together. It's like we've always been and always will be. It's this feeling, this love. And just as I'm about to be engulfed by it, I open my eyes, and this sobbing idiot is standing there, asking me if I'm OK. But I saw it. Just for a moment, I saw what it looked like. Well, that's just poetry, brother. You know, you should, you should write a song about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying. Poor suicidal rock star. But I've seen something real. I've seen the truth. You know, that's not the truth. You want to know the real truth, base? Right now, you have a choice. You can keep on drinking, or you can come with me. Now, before you make your choice, realize that if you stay here, it will very likely result in the extermination of your musical career. And if I go with you, 20 minutes, you'll be luxuriating in a five-star hotel, right on the harbor front, Charles Whitmore, one of the most powerful men in this town, will owe you a favor. Doesn't really seem like a choice. There's always a choice, brother. <laughs> <laughs>